everyone welcome to this happy dog video uh, we're gonna use a uh, block if you like we're gonna get some twists in today this is a slow flow so if you need any other props a blanket go ahead and grab it we're just gonna go ahead and get started standing at the front of the mat I hope you have fun Start by feeling your feet connected to the earth. Try to spread your toes wide apart. Let your palms come forward, rolling the shoulders back. You might like to spread your fingers wide apart. Standing nice and tall, heart is open. Breathe fully and we'll come to Samastiti, hands to heart center. Set an intention if you like. Inhale, let's lift the arms. You might lean back. Exhale, just take the hands back to the heart center, sealing it in. Inhale, lift and reach. Exhale, hands to the heart. And let's do one more. On your next inhale, let's squeeze the shoulders up towards the ears and get a few shoulder rolls up and back. Releasing any tension from the neck and shoulders. And you can reverse it. Taking them forward and down. And just kind of wiggling it out. On your inhale, let's lift up through the arms. Exhale, take a hold of your right hand and we'll lean over to the left. You might gaze up beyond your top elbow if that is okay for the neck, just an option. To make it easier, just go ahead and gaze down. Inhale up to center, change hands and exhale over to the right. Do make sure that your lower back is nice and neutral here. Inhale back up to center. You might lean back. And exhale, bend the knees. Let's open the arms to a T to your left. So we're trying to keep the knees in the same direction as the toes. Heart starts to open towards the side, and you may or may not gaze beyond your back fingertips. Inhale to center, straighten the knees. Exhale, bend the knees. Let's take it into a chair twist to the other side. We're trying not to hunch up the shoulders. You might feel your shoulder blades squeeze towards each other here. Inhale, fully back to center. You might lean back and exhale, take it into a forward fold. No pulling at the lower back, so maybe you need to bend your knees. Inhale, lift up halfway. Gaze might go forward. Exhale, step or hop your feet back to the top of your push-up. Hold here for a moment. Draw the lower belly in. We're getting our bandhas engaged, so the lower belly and the pelvic floor. A little bit of a lift, a little bit of an engagement. On an exhale, shift forward onto your tippy toes and lower down or halfway down. Inhale to your up dog, lift your chest. Roll the shoulders back, try to get a lift and an opening in the heart center. Exhale, you can roll over your toes back into your downward facing dog. So this is our first down dog. Spread your fingers. Maybe you want to walk out your dog bending one knee deeply and then the other. Do something a little bit kind for your neck here so you don't want to uh, really feel stressed in the back of the neck at all. 
You could dangle the head. Head could be a little bit more neutral. And take an exhale to gaze forward. You can step walk or float your feet to your hands for your forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold in. Release the back of the neck here. Inhale, circle the arms up. You might lean back. Exhale, hands back to the heart center. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale into your forward fold. Inhale halfway, gaze might go forward. Exhale, step it back to the top of your push up and lower down or halfway down. Inhale, cobra or up dog if you want to be off the pelvis. Exhale, downward facing dog. You might still be shifting the hips. Finding your version of your down dog and roll the shoulders outward just to protect the joints here. On an exhale, let's reach the right arm over towards the left leg, calf, or maybe even your ankle. Just getting a little twist here, twisting out, symbolically of course, twisting out what we don't need today. Return the right hand and exhale. We'll reach the left hand over to your leg, ankle, foot, whatever's available. You might continue to consider what you don't need here today. And we'll return to our downward facing dog. Exhale, step, walk, or float your feet forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. On your next inhale, circle the arms up, lean back, and exhale, samastiti. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, hinge at the hips into that forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, here I am floating back to the bottom of the push-up. Inhale, up dog. Lengthen the back of the neck. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift that left leg up and back. Try to stay even through all ten fingertips. You can roll your leg around in the hip socket if that feels good. You might be stretching out that side body. Maybe you can even roll your ankle if you like. Exhale, take the left knee over to the right elbow, crunch it in, round the spine. Inhale, lift the leg back up, lengthen. Exhale, step the left foot forward. We're coming into a high lunge, so come off the back heel. And inhale, lift the torso. You can lift the arms. If you're not breathing, feel free to keep the hands on the hips. And if you feel okay, sneak that front foot forward and just dip a little deeper. Exhale, take the arms to a T to the left. Again, you might gaze off the back fingertips if that is okay for the neck. But we really want to get the twist from the belly, then the heart, and the neck is the last thing to twist. On your next exhale, take the right hand down to the inside of your foot or to a block. And we're just going to lift the left arm up. Again, gaze can follow, but we still want to get that, that three-part twist. We're not trying to crank the shoulder or crank the neck. Exhale, hands come down to either side of your foot. Let's step back to the top of your push-up and lower down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, back into your downward facing dog.
Inhale the right leg up and back. And same thing here. You might want to roll your leg around. You could roll the ankle. Getting into the lower side waist a little bit. Exhale, take the right knee over to the left elbow, crunch it in. Inhale, lift the leg back up. Exhale, step the right foot forward now. And on your inhale, we're lifting up into our high lunge here. Let the shoulders come down away from the ears. If you're still breathing, go ahead and find your edge. You might dip it down a little bit. Putting some energy into the back thigh. And exhale, open the arms to a T. And again, you might be gazing off of your back middle finger. Try to keep that front knee over the front ankle. Exhale, lower the left hand down. Again, you might use your block here and you can lift the right arm up. So let those hips sink down. Exhale, we're framing the front foot with the hands. Exhale, step back. You can keep that right leg lifted if you like while you lower. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, back into your downward facing dog. And let's come down into a child's pose. You can use your block or a blanket under your torso or under your head. Arms could reach out. You could have your elbows bent if you need to. And come back to the breath. Come back to that letting go of what is unhelpful for you in your mind, in your body. This is your practice for you. Inhale through your table pose. Exhale back into your downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg up and back. Exhale, cross it over to the right elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale, lift the arms, stretch out the side body. Exhale, arms open to the left once again. You might take your left hand over to the right thigh. Inhale, lift up through the right arm. You could gaze up, you could gaze down. If this doesn't work, just keep your hand on your hip. Exhale, both hands come down. You can use your block again here. And inhale, lift your back leg up. Try to keep the hips even. And inhale, we're going to revolve our half moon. So your left hand comes up. Again, gaze might follow. It's a little bit easier to balance if you gaze down. But do what works for your body here. On an exhale, we're going to take the left hand down or to your block. Try to stay halfway lifted through the torso. And we're taking the right hand to the right hip. Really try to open the hip, stacking the right hip over, directly over the left. 
and then you might lift that right arm up. Exhale, take the hands down and step all the way back to a low lunge. Let the right knee come down. Inhale, we'll lift the arms for our Anjanasana. Hands could be together, they could be apart if that works a little bit better for your shoulders. Really let the hips sink, trying to open up that right thigh, front of the right thigh. Exhale, hands come down, curl the back toes under, step back to the top of your push-up and lower down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, back into your downward facing dog. Come back to the breath if you've lost it. Inhale, we're lifting the right leg up and back. Exhale, cross the knee over to the left elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, step the foot forward. Coming off the back heel again for your high lunge. Inhale, arms can lift. Bandas are engaged. Our breath is full. Exhale, open to a twist to the right. On your exhale, right hand can come over to the left thigh or keep it on the right hip and inhale, reach up with the left arm. Exhale, left hand can come down to the floor or go ahead and again, here, grab your block for our revolved half moon. So inhale, we do stay nice and lengthened through the torso, through the back leg, all the way to the heel. And on your inhale, the right arm might lift towards the ceiling. So try not to lock out that standing leg. We do have some energy in the thigh muscle. Exhale, right hand comes down to the floor or your block. And left hand can come to the hip. Again, we're stacking that hip way open, all the way over the right hip. And on your inhale, you can lift the arm to the sky once again here. Exhale, hands come down. Let the back knee come down here, sinking those hips. And inhale, lift up through the arms. So getting a nice back bend. We're not trying to uh, feel any pinching or pain in the lower back. So get your length and then try to lean back from the upper back. Heart is open to what you need to be open to today. Exhale, hands come down. Step back to the top of your push-up and lower. Inhale, heart opens up, dog. Exhale, coming back into your downward facing dog. And do try to encourage some length through the spine here. All the way from the hips to the crown of the head. Inhale, left leg lifts and opens. You can stay here or flip your dog, letting the foot come down behind you. Inhale, the left arm can open. You can roll the shoulder. Maybe you want to take your hand to the heart center. Head may or may not drop back. On an exhale, if you flipped your dog, we're flipping it back over. And on your next exhale, knee comes down and all the way over to the right. 
So inhale, now you're lifting the right arm up and back. And we're doing something that feels good for your shoulder here. And again, you might take your hand to the heart center. Exhale, right hand comes down. Inhale, lift that left leg back up. Exhale, coming into pigeon pose. So you do want your hips to be evenly sinking down. You can stay lifted up on the fingertips. Or exhale, start to extend forward. Your hands might be in a prayer here. Relax behind the heart, behind the neck, behind the eyeballs. Releasing any demands on yourself today. Inhale, come back just to the forearms. And on your next inhale, we'll lift the left arm to the sky. Try to press the left shoulder blade into the upper back. Exhale, left hand comes down. And inhale, right arm lifts. Exhale, right arm comes down. And on your inhale, we'll lift back up to the fingertips. Exhale, sweeping the right leg around front for Janu Shirshasana. Inhale, lift up through the arms. Exhale, bring the hands down wherever they go. And then take that extra inhale to lift up halfway. And on your exhale, your face can come towards your foot. You are flexing your foot towards your face. So we're nice and active through the leg. Take your shoulders down away from the ears. You can feel your shoulder blades come down the back. Inhale, lift up through the arms. Exhale, hands come down. So you might want to take your left knee over the right leg, possibly bending the right knee as well. You do want to be on both sits bones here. So if you need a blanket under both of your hips, go ahead and place it there. You can inhale and just stay seated nice and tall, or you might take your exhale to fold forward a little bit. So once you find your length folding forward, you can relax the spine. But if that creates a pulling or pain on the lower back, then just come up a little bit. We want to take care of ourselves here. Breathe. Inhale, if you folded, walk your hands back up. On your exhale, we're taking a half lotus here. So your uh, left foot is tucked in towards your right hip. If that doesn't work, you can just be uh, cross-legged. Exhale, take the left hand behind you. And on your inhale, you're taking that back of your right hand to the outside of your left knee. And you might, as I am here, reach behind your back and you may or may not grab your big toe or your foot, left foot with the right hand. Oops, sorry, that's the left hand. You can grab a strap if that is important. On an exhale, we are releasing back to neutral and release your foot. All right, inhale, uh, lift your arms and legs for a boat. Exhale, roll forward 
and lower to the bottom of your push-up. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Or just, you know, get to down dog however you will. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, maybe flip your dog, maybe you don't. You are doing what is the best for you. Exhale, bring your hand back down, lift the right leg. Exhale, bend the right knee. We're taking it underneath the body towards the left. And again, you might lift up now through the left arm, maybe rotating the shoulder around. Feel free to take the hand to the heart. Check in. How are we doing today? Exhale, hand comes down. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, coming into your pigeon on this side. So right knee's behind the right wrist. Your right foot is maybe behind the left wrist somewhere. Hips are even and you might lower down. We don't need to be in a rush to lower down. So for this side, you might start to let go of your expectations of others. Letting go of any sort of need to control the behavior of others. We can't. I know, we might want to, but we can't. We're let going of, uh, let go of striving. Inhale, coming just to the forearms and lift the right arm up, getting our twist. Exhale, right forearm down. Inhale, left arm up. I know this one is a little bit, could be a little bit awkward. Exhale, forearm down. Inhale, fingertips walk back up. And exhale, just... Uh, Lowering on to the right hip, drawing the left leg forward. Inhale, lift and lengthen through the arms. Exhale, heart comes over your leg, grabbing what is available. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, think of folding forward more than down. So we're keeping our gaze, our dirshti, our soft gaze at the big toe. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, hands come down. And you might just cross the right knee over the left thigh. You can stay here with your bottom leg straight again, or you can uh, bend the knee. So just the outside edge of both feet are on the ground. Inhale, get your length. And possibly exhale for a fold, as long as you don't have pain. Uh, Be especially careful of any pain in, uh, besides the lower back, uh, the hips or the knees, adjusting as needed. So this is our gomukasana legs, our cow face pose, just the legs.
Once you get your length, you can soften. All right, inhale, lift back up, and then adjust your legs. So now your right uh, foot is in the left hip crease, if that's available. Otherwise, foot is just in front of your left shin. Exhale, right hand comes behind you. Inhale, left arm lifts. And exhale, the back of the hand to the right knee. Feel free to stay as you are or start to sneak your right hand over to the right foot. The bind is not important, it's just an assistance to open the right shoulder up. Make sure you can breathe and find that length through the spine. Inhale back to center and exhale, release your foot. Take both legs straight in front of you. Flex the feet. Inhale, lift the arms to shoulder level and we're gonna exhale slowly rolling all the way down onto the back. So we're just engaging the abs. Inhale for your two-way stretch, reaching your arms back behind you, reaching the toes forward. Exhale, hug the knees in. Maybe you even want to bring your forehead towards the knees, getting a little bit of a roll, a release of the lower back. Exhale, the feet down in front of the sits bones. Knees are facing up. And inhale, lift the hips into your bridge pose. You may or may not grab your hands behind your back. Or you can reach your hands towards your uh, heels or any other variations you might like. But do stay lengthened through the back of the neck. We want to stay safe in your heart opener. Exhale, lower the hips back down, releasing the hands. And let's take the left knee and drape it over the right knee. You can shift your hips over to the left. And on an exhale, let the knees come over to the right. You could take your right hand to the outside of the left thigh just to assist you in the twist. And your left arm can be straight out or in a cactus arm. And you might gaze to the left. Just getting our final twist. Inhale, knees come back to the center. Unwind, straighten out the hips. And exhale, we're draping the right knee over. Shift your hips over to the right. And exhale, knees drop left. We're trying to get the shoulder blades flat or flat-ish to the mat. Inhale, knees come back, and exhale, let's release the knees, and again, straighten the hips. We're preparing for Shavasana. So extending your legs out towards the corners of the mat, arms are a little bit away from your body. If your palms are up, that'll help to relax the shoulder blades. Ah, so we're letting everything relax here. Let the toes and feet soften. The legs can be heavy. Our belly is soft now. Heart is open. Shoulders are relaxed. Back of the shoulders are relaxed. 
all the way down the hands to the open palms, non-grasping fingers might naturally just curl up. Back of your neck is soft. Let the jaw soften. Maybe the teeth come apart. Eyes soften back. And even the crown of the head is relaxed. Take rest, letting go of everything possible. Let's start to breathe a little bit of energy back into the body, making some movements with your fingers, your toes, maybe moving your head. Inhale, reach the arms and the legs. Exhale, hug the knees in. We are rolling on to our favorite side. Making a pillow with your forearm. So take a moment here to notice how you feel, what you have already created in your yoga practice. Inhale, begin to press yourself up to your comfortable seat. Just somewhere you can sit tall. And if it suits you, bring your hands together at the heart center. Acknowledge your beautiful efforts today. Take time to be grateful. Honoring yourself. The divine joy and light in me honors, reflects, and bows to the same divine joy and light that dwells in you. Namaste. All right, I hope you enjoyed your practice today. Thank you and namaste.